Sliding patio door roller replacement. With two able-bodied people, remove the sliding portion of the patio door by lifting up and then out, and then lay it gently onto a table. Unfortunately for us, there was nothing to indicate who the manufacturer of our door was, so we had to remove the old roller cartridges prior to shooting this video in order to match the part. Here are the replacement rollers we received next to one of the destroyed ones we took out. I'll tell you more on how you can locate rollers for your sliding door at the end of this video. To begin, remove the screws that attach the bottom extrusion. On our door there were two screws holding the extrusion on and one small screw for each roller cartridge. Next, using a mallet or buffer, gently tap the lip of the extrusion until it is free of the door. Be careful with the rubber seal. As I said before, we already removed our old rollers. The process was pretty straightforward. There was a single screw for each roller cartridge. Once removed, the cartridge slipped out of the end of the extrusion. To install your new roller cartridges, simply slide them in the same way the old ones came out and secure with the same screws. Note, our new cartridges did not come with new screws, so make sure you hang on to your old ones. Now, reattach the extrusion while making sure the rubber seal is in place and not binding. Gently tap the extrusion using a buffer until back into place and reattach with the screws you removed. We thought it would be a good idea to lubricate the adjusting screws while they were accessible. Next, put the door back into place and make sure the rollers are on the track. You may need to make height adjustments if the door is scraping on the track. You can do this by turning the adjustment screws. Do not adjust the rollers with the weight of the door on the rollers, as this can result in stripped adjustment screws. To find my part, I first removed it from my door and then did a general internet search. I found a company at the top of the page and with part in hand proceeded to search the many different types until I found a visual match. The sliding portion of our door is 5 feet with a total length of 10 feet, larger than most. We completed this project a year ago and our door is still effortlessly opening and closing.